Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the MAG424. It might work, it might not. I um, had a few comments below, uh, people asking me if I could help them out. I actually told a few people to try this, what I'm about to show you now, and uh, they said it worked. So I decided to make a video, send it out. If it works for you guys, great. If it doesn't, sorry, they have not made a no block firmware for the MAG424 yet. Give it some time, they will release it soon. So what you guys want to do is unplug your box. Obviously mine was working, but I don't have that problem that you guys are having. So what you want to do is, before you plug it in, you know the three little bars right there? The menu. I want you guys to hold it down. Plug the box in. Make sure you're pointing the remote to your box. Let's wait for it to boot up. Once again, don't let go. You're going to get this screen right here. So, what I've been telling people is this right here, the NAND2. So if you scroll down here, press OK. Now you have two options. So whichever one your box is on, so if you're on the, the NAD1, let's go to NAD2. So I'm on 2, just to show you. I'm going to go to NAD1, yes. So now it's changing it. So whichever one you guys have, pick the, uh, the opposite one. So I'm going to do save and reboot. Just want to show you. So mine was set up on NAD2. I just switched it to NAD1. Yes. Just want to show you it will still load. So your box might be the NAD2 for some reason from what I've been playing around with the box it seems like that's the one that keeps getting blocked so you might give this might be able to fix it so I'll wait for it to load up I should get the bar And there you go. So mine's loaded. So try that out. If that works for you, great. If it doesn't work, sorry guys, you're going to have to wait till they come out with a uh, no block um, firmware. The other thing I want you guys to do is let me just reboot my box. So I want you guys to try one more thing. If that did work for you, should have mentioned this sooner. Sorry. So when you did do that change, that switch over, before you let your box reload, just want you guys to try one thing. Once we get the loading bar, I want you guys hit that, that bar right there, hit the menu, this will pop up. So the top one, press OK. Settings, right here. Press OK, make sure this is disabled that's what causes all these headaches so if yours is enabled make sure you hit disable 
Okay guys, uh, hopefully that does fix your issue. If it doesn't, like I said, uh, hit that notification bell once I get the no block firmware for the, the MAG424. I will definitely uh, post it, set up a video and show you guys how to fix it. Okay, hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.